Hey dolls, so I am back. So I'm coming to show you dolls this hair. And if y'all wanna see where it's from, then keep on watching. Okay dolls, so this hair is from Asteria Hair. This is the bag. I will roll a clip here um, to show y'all the packaging and everything that came with the wig. This is the packaging that the wig came with. So this is the satin bag and then here is the wig. And then it also did come with some other items. So we have a wig cap, a band, a edge brush, lashes, and a melting band. Okay, so those are the items. And then also for this wig, this is an HD lace undetectable wig this is a 24 inch 5 by 5 lace closure i have a cap size small i usually always get a small unless they don't offer it and then um the density is 180 it doesn't have the texture on here but i want to say that it's definitely got to be kinky curly because it is like super like more coarse but it is really curly like the curls define really good and y'all will see in the video when I sprayed it down and it's drying quite fast. Like it is still a bit wet, but it's not soaking wet. Like it dries really quick. I didn't put any product. I just used water. So this is the curl. I think it's really pretty and it's nice and full. And you know, like you can fluff it out if you want it even bigger. So yes, let me show y'all the back. Okay. So that's the back of the hair. I really didn't wet down the back and like all of the hair because I didn't want to be sitting here waiting for it to dry for a super long time. So I kind of just wet down like the front a bit to just help define it. Plus those areas were a little bit undefined because I did pluck the wig um, prior to installing. And yeah, I just made this a really simple install and I'll show y'all a different kind of like technique to get your lace to blend really nice like i don't even have any um like i didn't melt down the lace i just did something different y'all gonna see in a video so yeah just stay tuned if y'all want to see it and yeah okay dolls so here you can see me just putting the wig on i did um pluck the wig and also use makeup to cover the knots so you will see that the makeup did kind of like seep through onto the hair but i am going to clean that up so my little trick in this video that i'm going to be showing y'all is actually using peaking shears um you could definitely pick these up from like amazon or you know like walmart hobby lobby any kind of store that sells like fabric and stuff but you definitely want to get fabric scissors that have that zigzag edge so first i'm going to cut off the tabs on the side just to make it easier you can leave it on and go in and just start cutting but i wanted to cut that off first and then i'm just going to go in with the zigzag peaking shears and go in and cut it they are really big i don't know if they make them smaller because it is actually for like cutting fabric and stuff and since lace is fabric it works perfect um, let me just tell y'all real quick one time I did buy like some cheap zigzag scissors That's basically for like cutting paper and baby they don't work So don't be cheap and try to just get some paper scissors that have the zigzag edge Definitely get the ones that are made for fabric But this is gonna let the lace give that zigzag cut instead of having to cut it yourself with a scissor and try to do that zigzag kind of shape it just gives the lace more of a jagged kind of look so that way you won't really be able to see the lace and it just blends in even better this wig worked out perfect to be glueless because it already fits nice and snug and with the makeup it blends into you know my forehead and my hairline and everything like that where it gives a scalp appearance so here you can see i'm just cleaning off that makeup that got in the parting area onto the actual hair and then I'm going to go in with my wax stick and just put a bit of that to kind of lay down the top portion and go in and just part any little pieces of hair that may have got out of the way or whatever. And then I'm going to go in with my hot comb. Y'all yeah, was having a hard time with my hot comb because it's acting like it wants to go out. But I think it has a short in the cord because I was wrapping it around the actual hot comb, like, you know, around the handle part. So don't wrap your cords around your flat irons hot combs none of your hot tools like don't wrap it around the whatever kind of device that it is that you have because it just makes the life of your hot tool not last as long so yeah long story short i had to keep turning mine's back on because it kept going out but then i unraveled the cord and it seems like it started to work fine again so 
lesson learned i won't be doing that anymore especially not with like my more expensive hot tools so yeah i'm just brushing everything back and combing it into place with the hot comb and then i'm gonna go in and part down some baby hairs um you just want to really try to get it as thin as possible like less hair unless you just want them to be more full so you can see here it is still kind of thick so i do go in with a rat tail comb and just part off the hair and pull back any hair and you can see how there whenever i part back more hair it gives more of a natural appearance for the baby hairs and it's just going to give it a more softer natural kind of look versus if you part down a larger section of baby hairs where you can always go back in and pluck more hair out but since i had already plucked the wig i just part out less hair so i don't have to go back in and do any more plucking so now I'm going to use my mini flat iron and just curl the baby hairs under. You can curl them backwards, whatever you like to do. And then I'm going to use some of my even spray to just mold the baby hairs into place. But they're still going to look, you know, polished, but still soft and wispy at the same time because I'm not using like a gel or a really heavy product like this holding spray definitely holds the hair in place, but it's not going to be super crunchy because I'm mostly applying it more so at the base of the baby hairs to just mold them into place and then brushing the rest of um, the product through the hair to just mold it into place so yeah that is what i am doing y'all know how to do this real simple and easy right so yeah this wig was super simple it is very full um and for me personally i'm not really like a kinky curly kind of girl but sometimes i will get textures just to try them out and do some different stuff i'm pretty sure i have tried out kinky curly before but this wig is super full but it is also very lightweight um because the hair is just full but it's not so heavy like i don't know if that makes sense like it's very airy um and it's full but it's not so heavy on your head like you have a lot of hair although it is very full so this is how it is looking whenever i push it back and then of course i need to go ahead and define this hair in the front because right here it is you know looking way more fluffy and not defined so i'm just going in with my water bottle and spraying some water into the hair usually i will use like a conditioner or something like that a conditioner or a mousse or whatever you want to use it will weigh the hair down a little bit more if you use water it's going to give that more soft fluffy kind of look but if you want your curls more defined then i would say definitely go in with your conditioner or whatever kind of product that you want to use but i just wanted it to be a little defined but not too defined like you know what i'm saying i still wanted it to be fluffy and full at the same time but just not frizzy like how it looks on the opposite side and i had went in and put kind of like a braid going back to see if i wanted to do like some kind of style with the hair but i was like no i'm just gonna do a middle part and show how pretty these curls are so on this side i went in and sprayed down with the water once again and then I'm just going to go in and use my dimming brush to detangle and just work the water into the hair. And that is pretty much it. Like super simple. You don't need a whole lot of products or anything like that. It's probably stuff you already have at home. Of course, you have water. You should have a spray bottle. And then, you know, like your hot tools and stuff like that. So this is how the hair is looking. I think it turned out cute. Like this hair is definitely given like black because it's super dark especially against this uh, sweatshirt that I was wearing. So now I'm going to use a little bit of makeup to just further define the parting area and I could kind of see like a space between like where the cap was. So I just wanted to fill that in a little bit. I really didn't even take it all the way back because like I said, I did use makeup to cover my knots. So it's already pretty covered, but I just had to use a little bit to cover that front area where the cap is pushed back. So this is how it looks and then y'all know i have to go back in and polish off the look i love to do this pushback look because it definitely gives more of that scalp natural appearance versus just having it flattened down like i like that pushback off the face kind of look so this is how it looks and stay tuned for the outro i hope it's not too echoey because i'm filming this or recording this in my dining room okay bye
Okay, doll. So this is the completed look of the hair. I think it turned out really cute. I did um, pluck the wig and I also did put makeup on the inside to hide the knots because y'all just know your girl is not trying to do all those extra steps like bleaching and all of that. I do still pluck though because I feel like it is necessary but you definitely could get away without bleaching and also your wigs will last longer if you prefer to go the makeup route because the bleach kind of just like breaks down the lace over time and you know like more hair is going to shed out over time whereas if you don't bleach it your wig can last even longer so that's just a little tip to kind of save y'all where you're not having to purchase so many wigs i know we do like the bleached uh knots thing and i'm always usually bleaching my knots but i've been trying to save a little bit of time and do it a different way and also i'm just letting you know your wig will last longer so yeah this is this hair i think it turned out so cute it's very lightweight although it is very full like of course in the back it looks really uh big because i didn't wet it down or anything but i think it is so cute like it turned out really nice i want to say that i've probably tried this texture before but i really can't remember but yeah i think it looks really pretty um and like with my makeup and everything like that and this sweater like the color of the hair is really dark like it's almost giving like black so i feel like it just looks really good and yeah if you guys have questions leave them down below i don't want to continue to ramble and yeah bye dolls